What's up you guys, it's Hayden, and I'm so happy that you were able to tune in because we're gonna have a really great conversation about what is underneath your clothes. In all seriousness, we're gonna be talking about inappropriate questions that some people ask trans individuals. So throughout my transition, I have discovered that people are very curious and people want to know more and, and learn more, which is really great. And it makes me excited that people are caring about trans issues and trans topics and they want to learn more. But at the same time, there's a fine line between wanting to learn more and just simply it's all out of curiosity. I've had some people ask some pretty inappropriate things to me, and it's really hard to navigate how to answer these questions because, you know, I want to let them know that that's a pretty inappropriate question, but at the same time, I don't want to make them feel bad, and I don't want to make them, you know, feel bad for asking questions. I understand that in the moment, People may not be aware or even realize that the question they just asked a trans person may have been a really inappropriate and invasive question to ask. But at the same time, some of these questions are questions that you would never ask a cisgender person at all. You know, a lot of these questions are based on trans people's bodies and what their body looks like. So yeah, you guessed it. I am talking about the people that ask inappropriate questions that are about trans people's genitals, their sex life, or if they've had surgery. So the first reason why you shouldn't ask a trans person about these really intimate details in their life, well, it, I mean, it seems obvious why you shouldn't ask it, but if you are not being intimate with a trans person, then it's really none of your business to know what's going on underneath their clothes. That's just the most simple way I can really put it. It's a really problematic topic to bring up to a trans person for a number of reasons. For some trans individuals, talking about certain parts of their body may bring them a lot of discomfort and it might spike their dysphoria even more. And if that's the case, it's probably best to not bring something like that up to a trans person because you could be making them feel incredibly uncomfortable and it could really just ruin their entire day. You know, they could have been having a really good day, feeling good about their body image, and then if somebody asks them, do you still have boobs or did you get rid of those? You know, stuff like that, that could just immediately ruin the rest of their day. And it may sound like kind of ridiculous to say that, but you know, those questions, they do happen occasionally. And another reason why it's just not good to ask this type of question is the fact that not every trans person is the same. Everyone is different. Some people want to be on hormones, some don't. Some people want surgery, some don't. Some aren't on hormones, but they want surgery, or vice versa, you know? It's all so different, and so it's not right to assume that every trans person should have surgery to be male or female. That's not right to assume at all. And another reason is you may be just rubbing salt into a wound, you know? A lot of times, trans people, it's this waiting game. You know, you have to save up a lot of money to have surgery if you want surgery. And so it's a process. Um, we have to be very patient people. But if somebody does not have the funds for surgery quite yet, and somebody is asking them about, you know, their chest or below, it's just pouring salt into that wound because this person is already waiting and they, they want to have it done and they can't because they can't afford it because it's expensive and most of the time insurance doesn't cover it. And you're just bringing it up and reminding them that they, they can't have their surgery yet. And another thing I thought about was the fact that you could unintentionally out someone. So if I was in a public place and somebody came up to me and was talking to me and I hadn't seen this person in a while or something and we were chit-chatting and 
um, they were asking all these questions about my transition. And then they ask, you know, about my, my chest and stuff like that. And there's people around, you know? I mean, that's something that you want to be cautious about. But, you know, if there's people around and somebody overhears it, and, it, you know, then all this stuff is cycling through their mind, you can see the gears changing in their head, and they're staring at you, analyzing you, and, you know, confused. That situation in itself is just so uncomfortable because, you know, you're already feeling uncomfortable about this question, but then it's in a public setting and there's other people looking at you. And it's just all anxiety beyond belief. And then you're being outed, essentially, and that, that sucks. Even if you're not, like for me, I don't necessarily live stealth, but I don't introduce myself as, hey, I'm Hayden and I'm a trans man. You know, I don't do that. You know, I introduce myself as Hayden and that's about it. And people treat me like a man because I'm a man. So I hope this video does not come off as like really aggressive or anything, but I just think it's an important thing to know about because it's a really common question and people are curious about it. And I would say there are, you know, appropriate times and places to ask questions. I have answered a lot of really personal questions to other um, questioning or trans folks that have come to me asking questions, you know. And I'm going to be honest with them because they should know, you know, if this is something that they want to go through, then I can share um, more intimate things with them. And then, like I said before, if you are in an intimate relationship with a trans person and intimacy is going to be a thing between the two of you, then I think it would be a good thing, you know, to talk about certain things because you're going to want to set ground rules anyhow because it's, you know, similar to what I said before, every trans person is different and that is including intimacy too. Some people like certain things, some people don't like certain things. So everyone is different, so it's good to talk about that. And then I would say, you know, my, my family. I think about my parents and stuff like that. People who I'm really close with, like I feel comfortable, you know, sharing more intimate like things about my transition with them. <laughs> not going into like crazy detail about certain aspects but you know talking about having surgery I'm obviously very public with that because I've been funding for it but you know my parents they they love me and they they care about me and they want me to be safe and I feel like they should be able to know like I told them before I went public saying you know that I was gonna have top surgery and stuff like that. That's like a whole nother thing, like being public with surgery is just, it can bring out some anxieties because I don't know who all knows and, and stuff like that. All right, I'm gonna wrap this video up and I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, feel free to share it, subscribe to my channel. I will be doing a video soon, um, not sure exactly when, but until then, I hope you all have a safe and wonderful few days ahead. Alright, thanks, bye.